here's the deal. When it comes to saving money for retirement and then putting it to work, nearly three quarters of women, 73%, say they know what steps to take. But when it comes to making that money last, fewer than half, just 47%, know what to do next. That's the headline from the State of Women 2022, a new survey of more than a thousand women from Her Money and the Alliance for Lifetime Income. And that's a problem because retirement, when it eventually does come, can last 30 years, 40 years, even more. No doubt not having this knowledge is one big reason that most women worry about money at least several times a month. So how much do we need? By the time you retire, you wanna aim to have about 10 times your current income socked away in a retirement account. That amount coupled with social security should be enough to enable you to live comfortably with resources that match about 80% of your pre-retirement income for a good three decades. And if that 10 times sounds insurmountable, don't panic. Try to nudge your savings rate up by about 2% every six months or so until you're socking away 15% of your current income. That can include matching dollars from your employer, by the way. A consistent 15%, it's generally enough to get you there. Second, focus on a plan to make that money last. That should include strategies to delay tapping social security as long as possible. On average, for every year you delay taking benefits from age 62 to 70, you get a bump in your monthly check of about 8% annually. Although I do wanna point out that average doesn't always equal you. If you're widowed, divorced, or if there's a big age or income discrepancy between you and your spouse, check with a financial advisor on your social security claiming strategy. Making the money last also requires planning on how much and when you're gonna pull money from your retirement accounts. Because retirement is long, you need to give your money the chance to continue to grow to keep up with inflation, but you also have to protect against longevity risk or the risk that you'll live longer than you anticipated. One way to do that is by taking a chunk of your retirement funds and using it to purchase an annuity or a lifetime paycheck that will last as long as you do. These products come in a lot of different shapes and sizes. So again, talking to a financial advisor about what might fit and when to buy it is a good idea. Bottom line, on the website of the Alliance, you'll find a tool called the RISE score, which can help you figure out whether you're going to have income that lasts or whether you're at risk. Because putting money away is a crucial step toward creating the retirement that you envision, but it isn't the only step. Creating a retirement income strategy is just as, if not more, important.